Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. This is Donish, the founder of jobskillshare.org, and today I'm going to share my tools, my must-have tools and sites for an IT professional. Now, this might not be true for uh, someone else using different tools, then my request to them will be to please share that with us and so we can also benefit from those tools that you have or have used. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with number one and I'm going to go through this way. So it's going to take probably a few more minutes to finish this video, but you will get a lot of information if you're brand new to IT. This will help you a lot. So the first tool is Spiceworks. It's basically, it tells you right here that it's an, it's basically an application with network monitoring system, help desk ticketing system, Active Directory integration, and more. So what it does is basically you can install this software on a computer. It will scan other computers and give you information about the other computers. You can even manage them. You can even scan them, do a lot of things with it. You can integrate Active Directory so you can do reset passwords and manage groups and things like that. Also, the biggest thing about Spikesorg is this community. Community has a lot of people, a lot of professionals that are already been in IT for so long that you will see some 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 questions or some uh, questions from a person with 10 years experience he might not be able to solve it but people with even more experience or people who had worked on those type of issues in a very advanced way you will find out some conversations like that that will help your um, IT learning in a very very quicker way I would say so definitely be a part of the community because it has millions of people, it has millions of IT. Imagine if you have so many IT people working and then they're having all these issues or very advanced type of issues, then you know you will learn things a lot quicker. So that's why I put Spikesworks on the top and it should be a must have uh, tool for uh, at least be in a part of the community if you're not using the tool. But the tool is also really good, the application that it, you, they have. So I'm going to go to the next one. Technable is basically for people who are dealing with a lot of uh, like you know small businesses repair type of uh, things, but it can also give you some learning if you're working for a corporate IT because they also use a lot of advanced uh, tools that are out in the market or maybe they're free. So you'll find that what type of tools they are, how do they use it, things like that. So you will learn some a lot of things from that. Another way would be if your company is 90 or 80 percent Microsoft then that means you have a lot of Microsoft uh, operating systems Windows 7, 10 things like that so the other good way for you would be to go to the support.microsoft.com because this is where they everyone goes out there and say hey I'm having this issue can someone help me and then people uh, with a lot of experience try to help or from Microsoft they will try to help that person so it kinda gives you ahead of time so let's say for example you are updating your Windows 7 to Windows 10 so you might just go to the Windows 10 section and see what type of problems people are already having you might even come across that Microsoft person would say oh we are aware of this issue we don't have a solution yet so what do you do you need to you basically kind of you're prepared you're preparing yourself for these issues so it's a great way to uh, make sure that you are also a part of this community if you have Microsoft computers. Another one is um, I, I basically search this way Gizmo Hot. So this would be you know let's say you go in in the morning you sit in front of the computer and say you know what let me just check what's out there. There's there any free tool or some offers? It's kind of like your favorite site that you want to go to. This could be one of those. So just click on the Hot Finds right here and when you scroll down you'll see some things like your hair free tools some offers here and you will see a lot of people are reading about it and commenting about it so even if before even you get your hands on these tools you might find out this is not even worth it so that's kind of really cool site to have another one is patch my PC and this is going to be helpful for anyone let's say for example you're sitting and your CEO came to you and say hey I have a laptop but it's not a company laptop it's my own personal laptop can you look into it because you know when I try to do work I am having issues now you really technically you can say no to the CEO <laughs> so so it, it kind of comes to you that okay you know what this is not on a domain I have not managed this computer this is going to take me time to find out what needs to be updated and all that so you can just drop the patch my PCs free tool it will scan the system say oh you know what it needs this many updates automatically so you click on yes you update it and it will start running the updates automatically 
uh, while you can work on other things. I mean, imagine if you don't have it, you're just going to sit in front of it and try to s figure out things. So another one is this one, Windows Inspection Tool. This is one of the best tools, I would say, and it comes with 64-bit and 32-bit. This is one of the best tools that I uh, also put my hands on because this solves issues that you really can't see. Now, what do I mean by this? Like, for example, if you have a software, OneDrive, I'll, I'll give an example of OneDrive from Microsoft. When you double click on, when you upload a file to your OneDrive folder, it syncs. It syncs through using an IP address. Now, how do you know that IP address? You wouldn't know. So, this tool can actually inspection, this to basically do an inspection. So, you double click on that file and you drop it into a folder, and this tool will tell you that this application this service or this process is trying to connect to this IP address now that's pretty pretty much awesome if you are working as a system administrator or someone in in more of the technical side like you know where you want to find out where the IP addresses are going where is it touching for your firewall and things like that this will help you a lot because now you have all these IP addresses in your hand you know what it is you can just drop it into firewall and play around with it and make the system make that application or the error you will have a lot of uh, good results with this tool because it's very very it goes into very deep stuff like you know processes and things like that in, in a very nice way easy way Another tool is from Manage Engine, and if you type Manage Engine, uh, no, sorry, Manage PC. Manage PC is another f uh, really good tool. The reason I like this tool is if you install this, and let's say for example uh, you get a call and you want to find out is this 64-bit machine or is this 32-bit machine, then you can really easily find out um, by using this um, Manage PC. You can just drop the computer name in there and just say scan and it will search that remotely and tell you is this 84 64 and it does a lot of other things it, it scans for softwares it scans for like you know what updates were installed and it's, it's just a portable tool that can help you with just you know some some of the tickets that will come and then you'll have to kind of do some searching so it kind of uh, helps you in that PDQ deploy by, by now I think I think almost every IT person would know about this PDQ deploy is one of the easiest software deployment software that I came across with SCCM is great other softwares are great but this is just super easy you just install it you just look at the library you click on the library the software you say import and then deploy everything is done and it also comes with the inventory software also so both are free and it's awesome software everyone should have it because it saves a lot of time you can even deploy big software like office 360 uh, sorry 2013 10 and all that you can just install it in very very short and easy fast way another tool is manage engine free tools so if you click on it it basically gives you some tools right here and if you download it um, it's basically like a portable type Windows admin tool this is the one that I'm talking about and it tells you ma manage tasks retrieve details of software install and this is one of the one that I like perform GPO updates sometimes you might uh, put a group policy on your computers and maybe you have 700 computers and some of them are on right now and you want this thing to get done you can just drop the list into this GPO um, tool and there's a list you can just put that list in there say you know update the GPO and it will basically go out and update all the computers so that kind of saves you big time so you should have this also if you're a Windows admin or maybe help this IT person Crucible WDS is basically uh, um, it's a Windows imaging system. It's pretty much uh, you won't find that in outside in a, a free open source tool like this, uh, which you can install on Windows and do the imaging. You will f probably find a lot of Linux like Clonezilla, and then there's some uh, there's other one too that's really famous. But um, yeah, this one I have done it. I've tested it on my YouTube channel. And, and the courses and it works it definitely works it's uh, so let's say uh, if you don't know anything about imaging if you have 300 computers and uh, new computers and you want to make them basically totally um, uh, look all the images should be the same way then you make a master image and that um, image basically deployed it will be deployed to 300 computers through using these type of uh, softwares another one and uh, basically 
in the tools section the last one is Windows System Tool. I mean it has a lot of things like networking tools, process monitors, very famous. And you can go through all these tools like this. But these will require you a little bit advanced skills to kind of find out what are you trying to solve from this and how do you stop a process and all that kind of kind of play around with it so this would be more for that uh, a lot of people use it for uh, web servers and and maybe there's like you know a, a site is not opening up because of permissions and things like that you'll probably find a good success with these tools and also the Windows special tool last one MVA is my Microsoft Virtual Academy is one of the best tool uh, sorry one of the best learning a free academy for anyone that's getting into IT uh, because you know they are also hands on and, and specifically uh, talk about Microsoft tool uh, their products um, and at the end uh, there's another one EDX uh, as you just type EDX Linux and you will get to this um, introduction to Linux and you can see these these courses are also free um, and the one and I'll say our own uh, because you know we do we want to make sure that people know this jobskillshare.org what do we do in jobskillshare.org in jobskillshare.org we we just take everything to the reality it's basically I am an IT person and I tell people this is exactly what we do at work that's what we do in these courses so basically we don't teach you a book stuff we don't teach you anything and it's free also we just teach you exactly what the title is and what do we do with that title what are the jobs responsibility that that are that we perform every day at work so hopefully this video was an informative video for you guys and if you guys want to see all these in action make sure you take the courses right here help desk has all these uh, covered and the office 65 administration active directory all these are hands-on courses and you will see everything hands-on thank you and this will be my 2016 tools and site must have tools and site video if you have any please drop your comment and tell us we'll test that out thank you